The Hydrostar Plus machine that you have bought is for the treatment of hyperhidrosis of the hands, feet and the axilla or armpits. It should not be used if you are pregnant, have a cardiac pacemaker or similar device or if you have a metal orthopaedic implant. You may have bought the Hydrostar machine which is similar to the Hydrostar Plus machine. However, this machine only has direct current and we advise should only be used for the treatment of hands and feet and not the axilla. The following demonstration uses the Hydrostar Plus machine, so please bear in mind that any reference to pulsed current and treatment of the axilla is not relevant when using the Hydrostar machine. This film demonstrates changing the leads over on each bath halfway through a treatment session. If you have purchased a machine with a switch on top, do not change the leads, but move the switch from 1 to 2 at this stage. Ensure all current is reduced to zero before doing this. Iontophoresis with tap water alone is successful in about 85% of people who suffer from hyperhidrosis of the hands and feet, and about 70% successful for those who suffer from hyperhidrosis of the axilla. Those who do not respond to tap water alone can add an anticholinergic drug such as glycopyromium bromide. This is available on prescription and if you would like details on this, please contact the Hyperhidrosis Support Group. The support group can also give you further information on other treatments for hyperhidrosis if you require it. The recommended protocol of seven treatment sessions over a four week period must be adhered to when using tap water iontophoresis for the first time and then, as and when necessary, just as soon as sweating recommences. It is important that another treatment session is done immediately the hands, feet or axilla become clammy and are not fully sweating, as the treatment will be more successful if this is done. At this stage, only one or two treatments may be necessary. For some people, this is necessary twice a week. For others, monthly sessions will be all that is required. With time, you will find that you are able to maintain your hyperhidrosis with frequent maintenance sessions. The current on your Hydrostar Plus has direct and pulsed current. The Hydrostar Plus automatically defaults to direct current when turned on. Direct current is considered to be more successful when treating hands and feet in an adult and pulse current should be used when treating children, the axilla and for those who are not able to tolerate more than 10 milliamps when using direct current. It is for more sensitive skins. To use the pulsed current, press the pulse button. This will illuminate the pulse light. It will go on to direct current when pressed again and the light will go off. The pulse button must not be pressed when there is current running through the machine. Ensure that the device shows zero milliamps if you change from pulsed current to direct current or direct current to pulsed current. As a general rule, consider the pulsed current to be about twice as tolerable as the direct current. Treatment may start with a hand and foot on one side, for example right hand and right foot, for those with hyperhidrosis of the hands and feet. Or for hyperhidrosis of the hands only, both hands can be treated at the same time, likewise both feet and both axilla. To treat both hands simultaneously either necessitates someone else to be present to turn the current up and down, or if you have purchased a remote control then this can be used without anyone else present. The remote control is only necessary if you are treating hands alone. When the feet alone are treated, the total time is 30 minutes, two sequences of 15 minutes. For the hands alone, 20 minutes, two sequences of 10 minutes. And for hands and feet, the treatment time is 40 minutes, two sequences of 10 minutes on each side. Please note that the power may increase without help by approximately 1 to 3 milliamps every minute or so. If you are treating hands only and are relying on someone else to turn on the power and increase the current, please ensure that they are at hand in case you need to reduce the current during the treatment session. Ensure all jewellery and body piercings are removed. The current never travels above the neck, so amalgam fillings, dental braces and earrings do not have to be removed with iontophoresis. The skin surface to be treated must be free of all lesions. If any are present, cover with a small amount of petroleum jelly. 
ensure only to put on broken skin and not on good skin, as the current will not go through petroleum jelly. We recommend that the current should not go above 20 milliamps when using direct current and 30 milliamps when using pulsed current. The basic treatment is the same as for adults, but because the skin is thinner, we suggest starting with pulsed current. If an older child is able to tolerate 20 milliamps of pulsed current, we suggest that he or she uses direct current for the hands and feet as the treatment may be more successful. Children should not go above 15 milliamp with direct current. We suggest seeking medical advice before commencing treatment on children. The hands and feet must remain in the bath at all times when the current is running. If you do remove your hands or feet from the bath during treatment, turn off the machine and start the protocol again, rather than put your hands back in the baths. We suggest that use of aluminium chloride antiperspirants be discontinued at least 24 hours prior to treatment and areas to be treated are not shaved for three days prior to treatment. Treatment may commence with hands only, feet only, axilla only or one hand and one foot together. Insert leads into the machine and then insert the four batteries into the battery compartment according to the plus and minus symbols and replace the casing. Four alkaline batteries should last for three sessions depending on the quality. It is always best to remove the batteries after treatment to avoid leakage and damage to the machine. Place the baths on a non-metallic table in front of the machine or on the floor if treating feet. Place the stainless steel electrode into each bath ensuring that the pin is placed in the upper left corner of the left bath and upper right corner of the right bath. Then place the plastic grills on top of these and plug the leads into the pins on the electrodes and into the machine. Attach the wrist supports to the baths for extra comfort. If you have purchased the remote control, plug this into the machine and clip it over the grill and electrode in the left hand bath. We recommend using direct current first, but if unable to tolerate more than 10 milliamps, on the next session use pulse current. After adding approximately 350 ml of warm tap water to each bath, turn the machine on. Place both hands into the baths, pressing lightly on the grating but avoiding all contact with the metal electrodes. Without taking hands out of the water, increase the current slowly by pressing the upward arrow on the remote control to the maximum level tolerable, but not above 20 milliamps. A pins and needles type sensation may be felt, but this should not be uncomfortable. If you have not purchased a remote control, ask your helper to press the plus button on the machine until you reach the required level. At a certain level, a slight discomfort or pricking will be felt. Ensure that the current is not turned up too much, as this treatment should not be uncomfortable. During the early sessions, the sensations may become difficult to tolerate. Don't persist in maintaining any uncomfortable level. With repeated sessions, the skin will improve, and the current can be pushed towards, but never beyond, 20 milliamps when using direct current. After 10 minutes, turn the power down by pressing on the downward arrow on the remote control until there is no visible current, or ask your helper to press the minus button on the machine. Change the leads over on each bath. Restart the treatment again, and after 10 minutes, turn the power down by pressing on the downward arrow on the remote control, or ask your helper to press the minus button on the machine until there is no visible current. The treatment is complete, dry hands and completely dry machine and parts. We recommend using direct current first, but if unable to tolerate more than 10 milliamps, on the next session use pulse current. The treatment is the same as for the hands, but with the treatment baths placed on the floor, hands will be free to adjust the current manually by pressing the up and down arrows on the machine. Insert the electrodes into the foot baths, ensuring that the upturned corner is placed in the upper left quadrant of the left bath 
and right quadrant of the right bath. Then place the acrylic grills on top of these. Plug the leads into the pins on the electrodes and then into the machine. Add approximately 350 ml of warm tap water to each bath. Place both feet into the baths, pressing lightly on the grating but avoiding all contact with the metal electrodes. Turn the machine on. Increase the current slowly by pressing the plus button on the machine to the maximum level tolerable but not above 20 milliamps. A pins and needles type sensation should be felt but this should not be uncomfortable. At a certain level a slight discomfort or pricking will be felt. Ensure that the current is not turned up too much as this treatment should not be uncomfortable. After 15 minutes, turn the power down by pressing on the downward arrow on the machine until there is no visible current. Then change the leads over on each bath. Restart the treatment again and after 15 minutes, turn the power down by pressing on the minus button on the machine until there is no visible current. The treatment is complete. Dry feet and completely dry machine and parts. We recommend using direct current first but if unable to tolerate more than 10 milliamps, on the next session use pulsed current. Place one bath on the table in front of the machine and the other bath on the floor. Insert the electrodes into the baths with the pin in the upper left quadrant of the hand bath and the upper right quadrant of the foot bath and then place the acrylic rails on top of these. Plug the leads into the machine and then into the electrodes in the baths. Add approximately 350 ml of warm tap water to each bath. Place your right hand and right foot into the baths, pressing lightly on the grating but avoiding all contact with the metal electrodes. Without taking your hand or foot out of the water, increase the current slowly by pressing the plus button on the machine with your free hand and continue until you reach the maximum level tolerable but not above 20 milliamps. A pins and needles type sensation may be felt, but this should not be uncomfortable. At a certain level, a slight discomfort or pricking may be felt. Ensure that the current is not turned up too much, as this treatment should not be uncomfortable. After 10 minutes, turn the power down by pressing on the minus button on the machine until there is no visible current. Change the leads over in the baths and repeat the treatment. After 10 minutes, turn the power down by pressing on the minus button on the machine until there is no visible current. Then repeat this session on the other hand and foot. The treatment is complete. Dry hands and feet and completely dry machine and parts. We recommend using pulsed current at all times. Take out pads and rubber electrodes from their packets and soak the pads in warm water. Fit pad sleeve over rubber electrode. The leads on the rubber electrodes attach directly to the electrode cables by pushing the socket and plug together. Then plug these leads into the machine. Soak the sponge pads again in water and insert into the axilla, ensuring a good, tight fit. Ensure that the sponge pocket is as wet as possible, as the treatment will be more successful if this is done. Some people find it helpful to soak some gauze swabs in water and place over the sponge pocket once it is inserted into the axilla. Once the pads are in place, increase the current slowly by pressing on the plus button on the machine. A pins and needles type sensation may be felt, but this should not be uncomfortable. If it is, then reduce the current level until it is acceptable. On subsequent treatments, you may be able to increase the milliamp level to two to three milliamps per treatment session. Do not increase the levels too high, as this may cause irritation or even minor burns in the axilla. Maintain this power level for 10 minutes and then reduce power to zero by pressing on the minus button on the machine until there is no visible current. Change the leads over or ensure to put the pads in the opposite axilla. Soak the sponge pads again in tap water and insert into the axilla and increase power again for a further 10 minutes. Reduce power to zero and turn machine off.
Treat seven times over a four-week period, as per hand and foot iontophoresis treatment protocol, and carry out maintenance sessions as and when necessary, ensuring treatment is carried out just as soon as the axilla become clammy, rather than waiting for full sweating to recur. It may be necessary to do this twice a week, or only once a month. The maintenance treatments will vary from person to person. Sometimes irritation can arise around the axilla after using iontophoresis. If this becomes a problem, hydrocortisone cream 1% can be helpful and is available from the chemist and should be used immediately after the treatment.